how do we know what is true when voices shout a myriad of answers and confusion abounds? What do we do with doubts and where can we find the answers? How do we know whether God is good when evil and suffering exist in the world, when we experience pain and loss? How can we effectively share the truth with those who have rejected Christ? The disciples of Christ and the Apostle Paul understood the importance of these questions. They lived in a culture that rejected truth and delighted in evil. They wrestled with their own doubts and those of others. But they didn't lose hope when pressed from all sides. Stephen defended and died for his reasons for hope in Jesus Christ as the long-awaited Messiah. Paul engaged with skeptics in the marketplace of ideas. Many of the disciples staked their lives on the truth of the resurrection of Christ. They demonstrated how important it was to defend and share the evidence for their hope. For this reason, the Apostle Paul stated, And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitied. So, how do we know what is true? What do we do with doubts? How do we know whether God is good? How can we effectively share the truth? We devote ourselves to the study of God's Word. We test and examine claims closely. We engage with the evidence and prepare ourselves to give a reason for the hope that is within us. Are you ready 